Warning. The following video includes characters hitting for millions of damage using sh** you don't have. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you for being afraid. Thank you for being afraid. Hey everybody, Goldie here, and we are running it back with Brutus the Barber Beefcake Hall of Fame. Uh, let's grab these two gears and showcase what they do. We have a gold, we have a silver. So again, it doesn't matter in which order you acquire the gears. What matter is what matters is how many you have. Um, so one gear trap gems do seventy five percent more damage, and both gears, all color moves start with four more move points. There is the silver. That is quite the jacket. And uh, the all gold everything. You know we got to stick with the all gold everything on, on this preview. Uh, but now we have both gears. Let's run back a couple of these builds. Um, and see what we are working with here. The first we're going to run back is the submission, the gem boost, and the traps. Um, so the full Nelson slam, 7 MP, deal 132k damage, four rows to make into trap gems. If your opponent breaks them, boost your je black gem damage by 30% for two turns. If you break them, make random gems into black gems. The sleeper holds submission, color submission, choose gems to make into purple, Remaining turn into trap gems of the same ilk as the four rows. And then the body slam boost your black gem damage by 136% for one turn. Um, now we do have both gears for the plus four MP. We do have max tour perks, but I am attempting to emulate what you would do in a feud without an MP boost. Because you could do Tori for plus two uh, black MP. Um... And 40% to the black gems. You're still going to be short one for the purples. And I want to attempt to get the opponent to double stack all of this for us. Now, we could always just get rid of Mellow and do Tori instead. Start with the sub and then don't have to worry about the opponent boosting for us. Probably not going to matter eventually because of just how much damage he's going to do. But we are going to stick with the double stack method from my first preview. Mellow for purple and black MP, Naka for a flat 12k, Zombie Edge for a flat 12k, and Santa Hogan bringing in the Rhonda's jacket plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. And we're bringing in the seal of the Acolytes plate. Whenever you make six or more submission gems, increase all of your gem damage by 50% for your next turn. Um, so that will hopefully get some stuff rolling. And he's gone, folks. He is gone. There he is. He's back. Um, let's see how this looks. So we're going to go ahead and put out some trap gems. I want him to match them. Yeah, let's put one down there just for fun. He really didn't go down here at all. This jerk! Sir, I am doing a preview. Whatever. 243. This probably isn't going to hit as hard as the first preview because he barely matched any for us. But that's okay. We don't need to... It's not a character that relies on the other person doing stuff. We, there's builds that work around it. 24.7. Uh, we hit 31.4 last time. Both gears. Is it realistic to take out Mello and put Tori? Maybe not, but we're going to. Just to see. Alright, so maybe not the most realistic, but it's a run it back. And I don't care. Um... Gear gives us four, Santa gives us five, starting turn gives us six. So we would be one short on purple using Tori, but 
we're just going to say there was like a lane bonus. I don't know. We're using a middle lane in feud with plus one MP or something. I don't know. Just don't ask. I'm going to put out the traps. Uh, where would he break them? Let's do that. And we're starting at 66 and a half. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hooray! Hurrah! He broke some. This is gonna be better already. Uh, three twenty-four without the traps. Three sixty-four. Thank you, gear. Let's go ahead and boost that. Uh, four forty-four and four ninety-seven. And then we put out more traps. And then we pray to God that something connects. Because this is the slot machine part of things. I don't have Zombie Sean to help shore this up. So, uh, spray and pray, folks. Spray and pray. We did it. Wonderful. 36. Okay, so without the gear and without the Accolade plate, we hit 36. 31 and a half. With the bells and whistles, we maybe gained 5 mil. Maybe. Um, maybe we should bring in the plate. See how this looks. Last build, we are running it back with full Nelson slam. Choose four rows to make into trap gems. Running clothesline, choose a four by one area to swap into purple. And the body slam, increase your black gem damage by 136% for one turn. Mellow for black and purple MP. King Nakamura for the flat 12K. Zombie Edge for the flat 12K. And Trick Hogan. That is going to help us get the traps out twice. We are using the new plate that is coming out with him, which is a T6 skill plate. Jan 2024 Brutus Beefcake Disc. Um, whenever you generate six or more trap gems, increase your black gem damage by 75% for one turn. I'm sure that'll be updated shortly. Let's go. Okay. What do we got? 57 to start. Sixty-eight. Choose a four by one. Go up top. Trick Hogan loads everything for us. Eighty nine. Go ahead and boost. What that plate do? Two ten. And then choose a four by one area. I really wanted to go here and do a. Let's just do a five break. And have things slowly cascade. 16.8. 16.8. There you have it, folks. Um, 36 mil from the Rhonda's plate with the gears. About 17 mil with his new plate. Curious to see who you guys end up putting this new plate on. Any other questions, comments, concerns you have about Hall of Fame, Brutus the Barber Beat Cape, free to let me know in the comments of this video or on my discord server that's how we run it back thanks for watching